Good morning. Can you, would you mind uh, updating us on what happened in court this morning with Ms. King? Well, the matter was adjourned by the magistrate because the prosecution sought a last minute amendment to the charge. She was charged with obstructing the Prime Minister from going to Parliament. They have now amended it to say attempt to obstruct, which is totally ridiculous. Clearly, they don't have a case. Clearly, they recognize that. So they have decided to say it was an attempt merely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely ridiculous. So I requested that I be given disclosure of the videos which they have in their possession, which I know they have in their possession, of the Prime Minister going to Parliament on that day because it will tell the lie that they're trying to um, perpetrate here. They, clearly, the prosecutor, without even considering it or discussing it with the DPP, decides that she's not going to give any disclosure of the videos. And I've also requested a statement from the Prime Minister. If he was obstructed, he should know he was obstructed. No statement from the Prime Minister, but they want to come with just one police officer with a short, ridiculous statement to convict my client. I'm fed up of the politics in this country. I'm fed up of the victimization. And it has to stop. Is it Russia and Ukraine all over again? I am fed up of it. I'm really angry this morning because I came here to take a certain course because I recognize that that case they have, they was bound to fail. They recognize it and so they're trying to come with something else, an attempt to obstruct how vague could that be? I'm really angry this morning with the way the state has been abusing its power on law-abiding citizens in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Ms. King, um, this case has been going on for a while. Uh, how has it been affecting you while it's been in court? Um, well, it's been affecting me in a number of ways. Um, unsettled nights, you know, um, just worrying about how this thing is all going to pan out. And then, of course, there's the financial implications because I am still on half pay. I'm not allowed to teach. It would go against the civil service code if I were to gain another job somewhere to make my ends meet. So it's been physically traumatizing, emotionally traumatizing, and of course, my finances are suffering.